Hi Tammy, how are, how are you? you? I'm good, thank you very much. Welcome to Glee TV. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us and for being part of our advisory board group this yeah, year. Yeah, no problem. It's been interesting and good to be involved. Thank so, you. So good. tell me about your experience of the show so far. It's been good. I've had lots of meetings, so I've been in and out of um, different meetings for the Garden Centre Association and then catching up with our buyers who are walking around and getting as much chance as I can to look at new products and see, see what's happening really in the industry. Great, good to hear. So as the chair of GCA, what would you say are some of the key opportunities that you're seeing currently in the garden retail industry? So I think something in the GCA we're really talking about a lot is sustainability and environment mm -hmm. and you can see that on lots of stands and that seems to be the way a lot of um, suppliers are evolving and looking a lot more at sourcing and the materials and packaging and then also with the garden care products quite a lot of change in some of the things they're using mm -hmm. in those products. Um, so I think it's a big transition at the moment as an industry and the GCA we're really trying to support that transition and encourage our members to take those steps to become more sustainable. Um, I think we just think it we are the green industry yeah. uh, in terms of plants and growing and that's brilliant but how much more can we do to become even greener? How would you say the retail landscape has evolved in recent years and what strategies have, have you seen at your own garden centre at Millbrook to sort of stay competitive and, and meet these changing demands? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I mean, COVID has a lot to answer for. So some of the changes um, have, have been affected by that. So, but interestingly, I think now we're, we're seeing m much more return to kind of what you class as normal retailing. So um, obviously catering was a big challenge in COVID and actually our sales now in catering are really coming back up, back up to pre-COVID 2019 levels. Um, and actually across our membership as GCA, that's the area that's showing the biggest growth um, is catering. the catering side. So, you know, big return to that experience, that sort of more of a leisure, leisure destination, whereas in COVID it was very much about coming, I've got to buy something for my garden, in and out, not, not hanging around. Um, and now people are coming much more for a day out again. And that's something we're focusing on in our business. It's about that experience. Uh, so we've got catering. Hopefully we've got great staff, good interaction, more events, more kids events. So making that whole experience of coming to a garden centre. So the customer fun. experience being in store again yeah. and spending more time in store has been something that's been really key in the, in the last year. I think year. so. You know, if you can get somebody coming for a coffee, hopefully they pick up a plant. We see people coming in morning coffee. They do a bit of shopping. Then they're still there at lunchtime and you know maybe they have afternoon tea and then they go home and we're seeing much more of a return to that style of shopping and that's a garden centre's real strength compared yeah. to other retailers. Great. Looking ahead, what advice would you give to adapt and thrive in this sort of ever-changing, ever-evolving landscape? I think it's, it's difficult because obviously you've got the presence and the growth of online retailing and it's not something we can ignore. Um, and as an industry we need to take that on board. Personally I think it's really important that that online presence matches that in-store experience and it's finding ways to bring those things together so if we're talking about educating gardeners how do we do that in store, how do we match that on our website, how-to videos you know so it's like this sort of seamless link between online and offline if you like. I don't think there's not many of us who compete can compete online just on price yeah. So what else will make people shop with you? Um, we, at Millbrook, we focus on our local customers online, so we're not trying to deliver across the whole country. It's very much for our local customers. If you can't come into store, we can still deliver it, okay. and you can get that whole more experience. More community-based. Yeah, much more community-based. And, um, and I think, again, the strength of garden centres is that idea of people coming in as part of the community and actually seeing a friendly face. And, mm -hmm. and in retail now, there's not many stores, yeah. you go on the high street, that, that customer service element has, is disappearing. And that is a huge opportunity, I think, for us as garden retailers. Great. Well, that's the end of my questions. Thank you so Great. much for joining us. Thank and you very much. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You're welcome.